Hello, I'm Jeremy Wade. Now, the difference between getting a fish in and that fish getting away often comes down to how good or bad your knots are. There are lots of different fishing knots out there, but if you know how to tie just a few well, that will stand you in very good stead. And I'm gonna share a few with you now that I use and that I have confidence in. The thing about fishing line is uh, it's very slippery. So if you use normal knots, let's see what happens. This is a reef knot, which everybody knows is a good strong knot for, for rope. Uh, I pull it tight and then let's pull on the ends and see what happens. A useless knot when it comes to, to fishing line. So we had to do something different. For joining nylon, there's one knot which is called a blood knot. How this works is we cross the ends over like that, pinch the place where they join. Thick line, I'll probably put about three wraps in there. One, two, three. Bring it in here. And then I do the same on the other side, but I'm, I'm winding the other way now. Two, three. Bring that through there. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna lubricate it. You can use something like washing up liquid, but most people who fish just do this. Tighten these tag ends. Any dentists look away. I'll just trim those tag ends off. So, this is the blood knot. It's used for joining two bits of nylon fishing line that are about the same thickness. It's not something that you use a lot, but it could get you out of a, a tricky situation. One time I was in India, I was camping by a river for about uh, five months, I only had a hundred yards of line with me and so you might actually sometimes join bits of line together rather than just putting a, a new fill of line on your reel. 